Hello, my name is Dexter Booth and I am the co-author of Stroud's Engineering Mathematics. Some 20 years ago, Ken Stroud decided he was unwilling to work on a new edition and as a result I was asked to take over the responsibility for the new 5th edition and so may attempt to maintain the survival of this remarkable book. It was first published over 50 years ago in 1970 and is now in its 8th edition. And with the introduction of a new digital resource, Maths Engine, is very much looking forward to the future. One reason for the book's longevity lies in Ken Stroud's approach to the teaching of mathematics to students whose primary discipline is not mathematics, engineers, physicists, scientists in general, indeed anyone who needs to have a facility with mathematics in order to achieve their aims. His method is based on a belief that mathematics is a doing subject and can only be successfully learned by working out problems, trial and error, practice, practice and more practice. The success of his approach is evidenced by the sales of well over half a million copies of the textbook and the hundreds of plaudits over the years from students and teachers alike. The book starts at the very beginning of mathematics with arithmetic and runs through the mathematics necessary to serve an undergraduate degree in engineering or science. Each programme or chapter starts with a list of learning outcomes followed by the mathematics and ending with a collection of exercises. What makes this book unique is that the material in each programme is presented in a series of frames which typically present mathematical information, followed by a worked example, and ending with a question for the reader to attempt. Fact, example, test, with complete feedback. The ideal learning environment. However, a typical issue with any book is that the number of exercises is limited by the very physicality of the book, which in turn restricts a learner's experiences. To overcome this, we now have a new and exciting development. Maths Engine. By transporting the book into the digital world, we can overcome the restrictions embodied with the physical and, I might say, very heavy book. Then, by using the notion of a random variable, we have been able to massively increase the number of exercises to the extent that a whole new approach to teaching and assessment is available. Imagine a problem with, say, three random variables, each having a value randomly selected from amongst 20 such values. Then this produces 8,000 different forms of the same basic question. Not only that, but each one of the 8,000 forms of the question is accompanied by its own work solution. So now a student can practice and practice an exercise as many times as required to attain the highest level of attainment where each practice of the same exercise is undertaken with different values. Then, when the student feels ready, they can switch to test mode and complete an exercise without access to the solution and have their work marked and submitted to their tutor. Here then is an exciting new environment which brings advantages for both academics and students, where an assessment can be contemporaneous with exposure to new material on a problem-by-problem -problem basis. The assessment becomes genuinely continuous and so becomes an integral part of the learning process. I'm hugely excited to be involved in the creation of Maths Engine and I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback.